folks, so welcome to WTW Science with Dr. G. It's been a long time and uh, today we're going to be playing around with some chemicals. Maybe I shouldn't use the word play, we're going to be experimenting with chemicals and more specifically ammonium dichromate. Now, does anyone know what ammonium dichromate is? Is it a solid? Is it a liquid? Is it a plasma? Well, these are fine particles, so they are solid particles, beautiful, beautiful orange color. And we're going to be looking at what happens when we light up the ammonium dichromate. And so it gives a whole new lesson on what we call exothermic reactions. These are chemical reactions that give a vast amounts of energy. Not nuclear, but these are thermal or heat energy. And the temperatures could be as high as 220 to 230 degrees Celsius. All right. So it's, a, it's hot enough to actually burn through a tile as well. So I have a little bit of ammonium dichromate over here, just to show you a bit. There's that beautiful orange color. So I'm gonna try and get that set up and like that. And uh, nothing much really happens there. And it's gonna have some sort of initial uh, temperature, but very quickly you see the beautiful orange turning into uh, a lovely green color. So there's some sort of chemical reaction taking place and this changes in that composition. And by the way, you would have noticed, uh, all of us do, I think it's somewhere or the other, that the common foil itself has a shiny surface, it also has a dull surface. Well, the shiny surface will obviously reflect the energy or the light, while the dull surface will absorb that. So yeah, I've got the shiny surface up just to reflect the energy out of this. One's gonna be very, very careful when using flames. So make sure you have a, a coat to protect your arms. There's gonna be a lot of ash that's flying all over the place. Have your goggles, your clothes, shoes, always respect your experiments so what i've done with the ammonium uh, dichromate is to also add in some ethanol just to assist to get the initial startup temperature and once that is sustained at about 220 degrees celsius you'd have this beautiful exothermic reaction going and uh, most people refer to this as a volcano erupting so let us see why that is the case so if we zoom in there we could actually get a feel for this volcano effect. So a couple of things happening there. You see that the, the orange powder is now converting into a beautiful dark green. And uh, as you zoom, zoom in, you can actually also feel the heat that's being generated out of there. And it looks very much like a volcano that's erupting. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. But look at the volume of the green ash that's coming out, all right? So that green color is due to the chromium ions, chromium-3, that's being produced together with nitrogen gas and steam. Um, if that tile was not there, that's gonna burn right through this plastic table. So, you know, thank God that we actually put the tile there in place. So a lot of ash falling around to so make sure you don't breathe that out as well. So a beautiful, beautiful exothermic reaction and the power of chemistry. So hopefully you enjoy that and uh, don't forget to like and obviously share, collaborate and subscribe. See you soon.